Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to a basic aircraft carrier tutorial for From the Depths. Whether you're building uh, for style points, which is always a good reason to build anything in From the Depths, whether you want to cheese the uh, campaign uh, battle block limit in order to get more vehicles to play at once, or whether you just want something to hang around in battle and continuously uh, supply your fighters and bombers with materials for them to fight and bomb things, uh, the good news is that making an aircraft carrier is actually reasonably straightforward as far as things go. You just need a few things. First off, you need a carrier. Oh look, I've got one that I slapped together out of ready-made prefabs and stuck a rubber deck on. Uh, it doesn't even need to move for this purpose of the video, so it's not going to. And the second thing you need is a plane, or two, or three, or many, uh, to stick on the thing. So. The plane we are going to stick on this carrier is something I have stuck on my most recent carrier that I built. So here we have uh, the, the uh, F the Fighter Bomber Mark 1 Petahui APS-C. Uh, C stands for carrier, the APS is because it's got APS on it, decorative prop. All in all, just a very nice uh, plane to stick on a carrier, but how do we do that? How do we... Uh, marry these two things together into one uh, functional unit. Well, you've got the carrier, you've got the thing to stick on the carrier, and now you need a blueprint spawner, or more accurately, a sub-vehicle spawner. So, sub-vehicle spawner, find it over in MISC, 50 materials right there, click. And you've got to make sure these things are in the same fleet, so merge them together into a fleet, and go find... Uh, your sub-vehicle spawner, go here, click, and confirm selection of sub-vehicle. So now, these two, I'm gonna go sit on that freaking carrier, thank you. Now, when you uh, have these things uh, spawn in and out, uh, the plane will spawn with the carrier, but it just kind of flops out of the sky. And if you want to, you can just leave it there, because it will spawn in quite nicely. So if, for instance, we do this, and if we spawn in a Marauder over there, and we play our thing, zoop, away the plane goes. More on why it did that just now. Uh, later, let's just shoot the Marauder a little bit. Is the Marauder being shot? Yes, it is. Blocks are flying off. That is lovely. And kaboom, it got blown up in the face. Very good. So now we've got an issue. Uh, we need to recall our friend, assuming we want uh, him to uh, just dock on the carrier once the fight is over. Also, if we just want uh, the plane to hang out on the deck of the carrier when it's not doing anything else. So we've got our blueprint spawner, and now we need a docking station. So I'm just going to pull and play these guys again. So, dunk! This is why a rubber deck is handy. More on that later. So over here we're going to have a docking station. In this particular case, uh, the docking station is three meters long, so we're gonna take the one meter one. There's no functional difference apart from weight uh, and durability. They actually cost the same, jeez. So here we go, just gonna make sure it's pointing up. So now, we select the Pitahui APSC, apply selection, and activate tractor beam. So now it's a... Uh, 25 meters up there, and but it's looking a little bit funny. Uh, perhaps we wanted to take off the deck, you know, like a plane does. So in order to do that, you take the elevation, 90 or maybe a little bit less than 90 if you wanted to, let's say 85, and hold distance as low as you dare, 5 being the maximum. So here we go, we've got a plane that's a lot wider than the runway, but never mind that, you can make your planes as big or small as you'd like. Actually, you can make your carrier as big and small as you like. This is just underlying mechanics. So now we've got uh, it held right there. But if we spawn in uh, the Marauder again, uh, we got a problem. Uh, the thing isn't actually moving because the tractor beam isn't letting go. So this is where our first ACB setup comes in. So over here, we're going to go to ACBs. And we're going to place two of them. And all these are going to do is, when enemies are nearby, uh, the tractor beam is going to let go of whatever sub-vehicle it's holding on to. And when the enemy is all gone, it's going to grab them again. So, we're going to go here, condition, 
enemy, range, 5,000 meters. If there's an enemy within 5,000 meters, it's going to, where is it, move master on, dock at stations, it's going to release all assigned vehicles. Now, oops, we want to invert that, so if there's no enemies around, it will recall all assigned vehicles, and that's activating now, which means when you spawn the Marauder in again, we tractor beam is released, and the plane goes off to wreak death and destruction upon a superior combat vessel, which is absolutely lovely. And when it's gone, the plane gets recalled, and that's basically it. Um, as far as uh, sending your craft, releasing your plane, and calling it back. And, but there's a few more things to mention uh, on the sub-vehicle itself. So, I found in building my re most recent carrier that uh, there are some handy things to do. And one of them is sticking ACBs on it uh, that changes the behavior on this. Like, I don't think you strictly need to do this, it's just kind of useful. And... If there is no enemy within, well, present, it'll turn the movement off, and when there is an enemy present, it'll set the mainframes to combat. Uh, this could be a bit of a problem if you want to manually control your planes, but it just stops, uh, all this does is it stops them burning materials trying to move when they're docked, uh, which is quite handy because uh, this thing has a jet engine hidden inside it, and you don't want to, um, you don't want it to just, uh, you don't want it to just burn all your money while doing nothing, because that's bad. And another thing which is handy to do uh, on a carrier plane is this. This is an origin block, a super cheap little block uh, that is just stuck on the plane's uh, butt or on the front, if you so desire. And that is just what the tractor beam uh, will lock onto, and it's uh, what the block that the blue point spawner will essentially spawn the craft from. Which is useful, as it says in the tooltip, for vehicles that need to be spawned precisely with respect to a larger mothership. Uh, this is to avoid embarrassing situations where the plane spawns inside uh, the ship and is released in there. Uh, that has happened on stream and it was very embarrassing. So, there's just a few more handy notes uh, to mention. Uh, one of which is be careful when prefabbing uh, blueprint spawners which are already set up with a vehicle in mind uh, because they're set up to lock onto that specific vehicle so you can't just copy paste and have a whole bunch of different things you need to set up each vehicle individually uh, so that they don't get confused and also you want to make sure that your planes fly in different directions so if you have say another plane uh, behind this uh, you can get away most of the time, or at least some of the time, with them uh, careening off in the same direction. Uh, but then they're flying in formation very tightly, and they're more likely to fly into each other. So I tend to set my planes up so they all, like, you know, bugger off in different directions. They get a bit of space in between them, so they're less likely to collide. And speaking of collisions, uh, the rubber deck is pretty important. Uh, this thing is about four meters off the deck, so... Uh, when it pitches up, its tail shouldn't bounce off the ground. There is a way to test this. Uh, but, yep, so there's clearance then. Uh, but especially with the uh, longer uh, planes, there's a chance that its butt might scratch the deck. And a rubber deck just stops it from disintegrating when it does that. Because that's very, very embarrassing. And so, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate to you... Uh, the aircraft carrier which I made for my most recent campaign, which I'm reasonably proud of. It's the Mother Duck class carrier, and it uses exactly the principles I've just shown you. It's very simple, or at least fairly straightforward, and it's got a strategic bomber on it, the Flying Emu. Uh, yes, I know the runway is very short for that, but you know what? Uh, that's just how it shook out. Technically, uh, this carrier is simultaneously too big and too small uh, for the planes on it, uh, but I don't particularly mind because it does its job very nicely. And it even has the same uh, Dreadnought um, default prefab as the main hull uh, because that's a real time save. I can't recommend that enough. And so let's just, I don't know, let's uh, bomb uh, something hilarious. You know what? You know what? The crossbones need some what for. So all the planes take off in different directions. A uh, nice bit of rubber padding, just to make sure they don't uh, all 
uh, die horribly. And the aircraft carrier can be a sponge uh, for damage. And the planes can run off and just destroy things. Uh, one particular advantage uh, with carriers is that uh, if you send a um, swarm of things that are just jammed with weaponry uh, off to basically fly in the enemy's face, uh, they can kind of act as a distraction uh, which serves to protect uh, the main craft a little bit. Because this crossbones is very confused at the moment. And there's the flying emu doing its flying, flying emu thing. That is possibly one of my favorite craft names ever. And the crossbones is having an absolutely miserable day as a direct result. So, carriers, ladies and gentlemen. And in particular, like, if you don't want your carriers being shot at, you can just keep them out of play. Um, if they're not actually docked with anything, you can just have a supply ship just run around and put it at the bottom of the load order. Uh, for combat, and that can work in pretty much the same way, arguably a more practical and CPU friendly way, but it is kind of nice to watch your planes launch, so that's what we're doing. Now let's lock onto one of our planes just for giggles. That didn't work. Come on, lock onto the plane. Ay, 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 still getting used to the new camera. Come on now, let's lock onto the plane. Lock onto the plane. Thank you. So there you have it. That is how to build a basic carrier. And uh, you can scale this up as much as you like. So you can have a carrier with just, you know, a whole metric crap ton of planes on it. Uh, big or small, up to you. And you can just have them just swarm enemy craft as you see fit. The sky is the limit. Because, you know, planes. Uh-huh. In any case, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.